Let me list four items that will be considered luxury in a very near future. Meat, cars, having your own house, travel by airplane for vacation. These items and many more will be considered luxury because they will be too expensive for most people. In this video I want to explain why this might be only the symptom of something far worse that uh, we have ahead of us. Before I get into that, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and also welcome to my local woods. It really is quite simple. If you struggle with day-to-day uh, -day expenses and living costs, uh, then you won't be able to, to buy a house or a new car or uh, have a steak dinner. I wish I could say that I think it's it's going to be much better in a few months or maybe a year, but I don't think so. And I hope I'm wrong here, but what I think that we're seeing now is, and I've said this before, a paradigm shift. We are moving from one system into another. Uh, we are moving into uh, the fourth industrial revolution. I think that's a silly name because it doesn't really describe what's going to happen or the mechanisms uh, involved. I think that we need to reconsider what matters to us. Now, uh, if you ask me, um, a healthy diet matters, matters a lot to me. Uh, and meat, yes, red meat, uh, is part of that diet. And some might disagree, but I will encourage everyone to look at proper research when it comes to diet. And let me just add that if large parts of the population are going to exist on a diet uh, based on plant-based foods and, and insects... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually on the agenda. Agenda 2030, by the way. Uh, if, if, if people are going to have a diet like that, we're going to see so many health issues, uh, especially mental, mental health issues. Let's move on from that. Um, I said in my previous video actually that it should be possible to, if you work hard and you save up money, to buy your own house. And also I think that travel is, um, is important. It makes us wiser. Now, if you're a house owner, you have noticed that uh, the costs of having that house uh, has uh, increased. If you have a loan in the bank, uh, the interest rate is going up and uh, you need to pay a lot more um, for, uh, for the heating of that house. The price of gas and electricity has skyrocketed. And that's not only because of the war in the Ukraine and uh, Russia's uh, uh, policies there uh, regarding uh, gas supply to Europe. Uh, there are many other factors involved here. So I said we are in a paradigm shift. So we are moving from one system to another or the system that we have, the society as a whole is changing. And I think that we will have less democracy. You will have uh, big corporations working together with unelected officials. If you look at the EU, uh, you can see a good example of that there. Um, and during Covid and uh, the scandal that is, uh, <clears throat> and I shouldn't finish that sentence, the system is, is dirty. Uh, let me just use that word and, and uh, also it brings me on to censorship. We're going to see a lot more censorship. We're going to see the implementation of a social credit score system in the West as well. It will not be named that, of course, but it will, it will have its tentacles into everything. So, in other words, people will be very aware that what they say and do on social media, their activities, their movements will uh, be monitored and there will be consequences uh, for, you know, having opinions. People will be writing in the comment section that no, no, you're wrong and that won't happen. 
And I really hope that you're, you're, you're right and that I'm wrong. Th that's what I'm hoping for. I don't want this new system that we're moving into. I don't want that. I want individual freedom. I want freedom of uh, speech, uh, freedom to travel and see the world. Uh, I want freedom. Freedom is extremely important. And what I'm seeing now is that we are losing it. We are losing this freedom. And it, 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 it makes me angry. Um, <laughs> it might not look like that, you know, I'm angry right now, but I am. It, I'm quite furious actually, and it makes me sad. Now, I don't know how long this will take. One year, ten years, but we are moving in that direction. And it's time now that we all use our voices and that we, uh, first of all, we say that now, we refuse to be part of this. And also, we must not only talk, we must also do. And by that I mean we must refuse to be part of this. Um, so how do we do that? Well, there is not much we can do uh, when it comes to um, things that we buy, you know. Um, the interest rate, you could say that's the price for money. You have to pay an interest on, on money that you get from the bank. But maybe you can get a house that is a lot cheaper in a totally different location. I don't know, a lot of people, they say that, well, I have to live in the city because that's my, where my work is. And, um, and so on. Um, and if meat is just too expensive, well, I guess you can't buy it then. And also, if we can't drive a car, you know, and I see that coming. Someone doesn't want you to be that mobile because they are, you know, making it more and more difficult to have a car. And also, it will be pricey to uh, charge that electric car. It's already very expensive. So what are you left with? Well, I guess you could have a bicycle, you know. <laughs> well, and I laugh because it's, it's not an option. In, in many cases, it's not an option. But in some cases, it certainly is, you know. And you get the exercise as well. If you have a smartphone, and most people these days do, I don't. But if you have a smartphone, then refuse to use these apps that harvest information. So for instance, Facebook, you know, it's, it's, it's not a social platform, social media platform. That's not what it is. It's a data harvesting uh, tool and they will sell your data to data mining companies. And that will be used to predict our actions and also to manipulate our feelings and actions in the future. And also keep a close eye on the Ukraine. It might be rebuilt using the ideals of the Great Reset and Agenda 2030. It's obvious when you think about it. And if you find yourself chained to your job, the city that you work in, and, and you find yourself in a situation where you, you don't have any, any choice, you, you have to be part of this system and you have to accept whatever is coming, then I would say that <laughs> please look at alternatives. Uh, is there something else you can do to make your living? You know, and also consider the fact that a lot of people will be um, will not be needed in the workforce in the future. That's part of the so-called fourth industrial revolution as well. And this is because of the automation that's coming. The more independent and self-sufficient you are, the more freedom you will have. 